All right, YouTubers, welcome back. Ah, having damn video problems. So today's video was supposed to be on how to make damn the BRF jars, which we have here already finished. And I supposedly recorded two videos on how to prepare them and how to have them ready to this point in order to inoculate them like we did the ones two weeks ago and we'll be bringing you an update on this soon just let me try and catch you up because before anything happens and i lose this video as well so i use the Kerr regular mouth jars the eight ounce jars which are half pints i'm guessing and you can use the wide mouth which would be ideal and so for our mixture we're gonna need brown rice flour vermiculite and water that's it and maybe it's a couple of good ribs if you have any um, go to your local UPS store get the big pay, um, envelopes because they're made out of Tyvek and we can use those as filters so it's gonna be two cups of vermiculite to one cup of water and one cup of brown rice we're gonna pour in the vermiculite Pour in your one cup of water, get a fork and mix it around. Mix it around and you're gonna see when it starts to get all nice and moist and you'll be able to see if there's any patches that have like, that are not dry, that are not wet, I mean, or you know. Then after once it's nice and mixed, you throw your one cup of brown rice on top, mix it around, mix it around until it gets nice and airy basically and you have a nice little mix like this which you know it's what we're gonna need for the mycelium to feed on so to make your holes I use a an eighth of an inch drill bit and I make three to four holes or last time I only made three on each of these jars except for these two which are my testers and those are OB minis as well which is the ones that we get on all these jars so then we're gonna grab a spoon unscrew the jars and literally fill them up all the way to the top I know some recipes call for a dry berm layer to prevent contaminants but I I don't know, I feel this would work as well. I mean, it's all gonna go into the pressure cooker and then if you put dry vermiculite in there, I I don't know, I feel it's just a higher risk of you getting a contaminant because you're literally putting vermiculite from the bag on top and then, well, I mean, it goes in the pressure cooker so it's all should get sterilized as well. I really don't know. So let's get with the update real quick before we throw these in, these bad boys. Oh yeah, and then cut a piece of that envelope enough to fit over the jar, the mouth of the lid, and just screw it on. And it's pretty simple, you know, you can't mess this up, hopefully. So we did 10 jars, which are all labeled. And here's one. See, nothing really visible there yet. Number two, nothing there. Three, nothing so far. Four, oh, look at that, baby. Number four, that's what we would like to see right there. Bam, look at that right there. Six, there we go, a little bit right there. It's working, it's working. Seven, bam, look at that baby, or six, seven, nothing on this one, bam, look at that one, bam, look at that one, so see, as you can see, then we'll just throw these ones in there for fun, these are the exact same ones, but it's not the ones we made, look at that, oh, look at that, it's all OB1 mini, bam, look at this baby, so it's almost done. All right, so now let's throw these bad boys in the pressure cooker and I'll explain that process then. So because of time-wise, I'm just gonna explain it 
um, lift up your racks, your 